And good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gaze, and we hope you are safe and healthy wherever you happen to be tonight. And I'm Leslie Adamy. Thank you for being with us. We begin on the education beat tonight. Some Texas students falling behind in online only classes could soon face a mandate from their public school districts to either return to campus or find somewhere else to learn. Our Rudy Trevino takes a look at what that means to students and parents in Corpus Christi. Here's our top story at six. There are so many factors as to why a child studying from home virtually could be failing or not doing the best they can. You can't discipline uh, the, the trauma out of kids. You know, you have to use a completely different approach. Dr. Sandra Clement with CCISD says the reasons are as wide and varied as the students who make up the district. Pre-COVID, our kids had many opportunities and they were engaged and they did not struggle the way they, they are now. And, and clearly it's not a lot of times, it's not their fault, but we do want them to become more engaged. We want them to show up for their classes. The TEA issued a guidance last week allowing school districts to stop offering virtual instruction to individual students with poor grades or attendance if they deemed it necessary. In the meantime, there are those who believe sending students back to the classroom amid the pandemic isn't a good idea. Numbers are high, yes. We've gotten reports of that. CCISD will be getting data on how students are doing academically once the second six weeks numbers are calculated on Friday. Dr. Nancy Vetta, local president of the American Federation of Teachers Union, says sending kids back into the classroom for that reason isn't enough reason to put them or teachers at risk of contracting the virus. We have so many nets uh, in teaching and teachers provide so many ways to pass classes that there has to be another way or another excuse or another reason why students are failing uh, and um, and teachers are trying to work on that. It isn't clear whether any Corpus Christi area districts plan to use the new authority, though none has vocally lobbied for the power. For now, both CCISD and the teachers union say being extra cautious during this pandemic is first and foremost for both teachers and students. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.